Hello, I am Dr. K.K. Misra from our, our classes. Today I will talk about certain traits of professionalism through this video tutorial. What is professionalism? The term professional refers to anyone who earns their living from performing an activity that requires a certain level of education, skill or training. There is typically a required standard of competency, knowledge or education that must be demonstrated often in the form of an exam or credential as well as adhering to codes of conduct and ethical standards. This is the standard definition worldwide you can say acceptable of professionalism. Let me tell you that if you are a professional so also you must be taking it on emotional grounds that you should not be taking things personally as long as you are working in your organization. Question is what does being professional actually mean? For some, being professional might mean dressing smartly at work or doing a good job. For others, being professional means having advanced degrees or other certifications framed and hung on the office wall. Professionalism encompasses all of these definitions, but it also covers much more. So what is professionalism and why does it matter and how can you be completely professional in your day-to-day -day role? In this presentation article, you will explore all of these questions so that you can present a really professional image in the workplace. Here is a list of traits of professionalism. If you want to be really a professional, in addition to what is contained, explained in the definition, there are certain points that you must keep in mind. Number one, competence. You are good at what you do and you have the skills and knowledge that enable you to do your job well. That means expertise or competence is of utmost importance. Means that for whatever you are known, you must be able to prove by your deeds. Number two, reliability. People can depend on you to show up on time, submit your work when it is supposed to be ready, etc. That means reliability is such a factor which definitely makes you a professional. Like if you, if you give a, a statement or a commitment, you must be able to fulfill your commitment within a stipulated period of time. You must be able to give correct information to the people people you are connected with or concerned with related to your job, you must be able to give accurate, correct and complete information to the ones who are asking. Number third, honesty. You tell the truth and you are upfront about where things stand. Don't be ambiguous. Don't conceal the things. Be on revealing side honestly if you are a true professional. Fourth, integrity is very important factor. You are known for your own consistent principles. Not that you change your principles. You, 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 you do some, you have, you know, very many or varied standards of dealing with people coming across you. This is wrong. Whatever standard practice you have adopted, it should be with everybody and anybody. Only then you can be able to have this factor of integrity in you. Fifth, respect for others. Treating all people as if they matter is a part of your approach. That means this indicates that don't belittle others. 
Yes, you are an expert. That does not mean that people of other people in, in the same field are not I have, don't have as much expertise as you have. No, it is not. So, don't belittle others. 6. Self-upgrading Rather than letting your skills or knowledge become outdated, you seek out ways of staying current. Keep on updating yourself if you, in true sense you are a professional. Seventh, be positive. Being positive, no one likes a constant pessimist. Having an upbeat attitude and trying to be a problem solver makes a big difference. Not that you create problem for others. If you are a professional, you be a problem solver. Number eight, supporting others. You share the spotlight with colleagues. Take time to show others how to do things properly and lend an ear when necessary. Number nine, staying work focused. Not letting your private life needlessly have an impact on your job and not spending time at work attending to personal matters. Here simply subordination of personal interest to general interest principle you need to adopt. And the last tenth that is listening carefully. People want to be heard. So give so you give people a chance to explain their ideas properly. If these ten points you have definitely you are a professional or you can be a good practicing professional. Thank you for watching with patience. More video tutorials on other aspects of developing soft skills and management subjects are available on my YouTube channel link given below. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much. Have a nice time.